Yeah, yeah, good morning, YouTubers. All right, we hit that sub mark I was asking for. Awesome, awesome, guys. All right, so we got everything spun up and everything ready to go, and we're gonna get this guy put in there. I don't know if you, oh yeah, there's, there's, a little, there's a little bit in there. Really interested. Wanna hit that 100 subs so we can empty it out there one day, but we'll get there. You guys are rocking it. The only difference about today versus any other video is I have a shop mate today. Most of the time it doesn't bother me. Usually he sticks to himself. He's a little old. Tends to leave his stuff all over the place for me to have to pick up and trip over. But you couldn't ask for a better shop mate, huh, Covey? You already napping? Oh, she only been out here five minutes. Five minutes and you're already trying to lay down and slough off for the day. Oh, don't try to hide from me. All right. Well, that's my shop mate. We're going to hang out and we're going to get back to that board in just a minute. So I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm over here at my fume hood. But it uh, seems like this guy has a little more gold plating than this guy. I'm not sure, but it sure does look like it. So we're going to run with this one. And I'm not sure how long it's going to take because it does seem a little thicker. But uh, we're going to give her a go. I had to bend it a little bit. Wouldn't fit in the top of my stock pot. But I got her all set up. And yeah, if you guys are wondering, you want to try this. I use a, a, a cotton or a, a, a natural type of woven fishing line. Uh, you can find it. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't really say the, the name of the brand. But I tend to stay away from like non-natural stuff. Because I've had really good results with filtering through cotton. As far as the HCL goes. So, um, that's, that's what I found works for me. Alright guys, here we go. You guys did it. Although this is my channel, you guys are pretty much in the driver's seat. I mean, I'm just as excited as you are. So, uh, let's, let's get this guy a little drop. Is he gonna drop in there? He may. Uh, let's see. Let give a little wiggle there. Uh, we're gonna drop her down in there, and I don't know how long it's gonna take. But, we're gonna find out. All right, he's down in there. He's doing his thing. I can't really see him in there. I know you guys can't. But we'll pull him up in about five minutes and check on him. So while we wait, see what that's going to do. I just got a couple questions. I mean, do you guys want me to keep doing, you know, easy gold recovery? Start doing that. You guys want me to start taking some stuff apart? I mean, this isn't all I have. This is all I keep on site. Uh, I tend to leave a majority of my really expensive stuff elsewhere and not really in my shop just for safety and everything. You know, you don't want to come out here and find something missing, especially when you work so hard to get it. But so, yeah, leave leave your comments. Let me know what you want me to take apart. Um, this little guy here. Yeah, that's a little gem back there. Um, I'm not sure about him yet. I'm really not. He, he, he right here, uh, we're going to have to do a little research on him, but, uh, maybe. And I know, I know some people are looking back there and they see that little, they see that little tag sticking back there. And some of you may know what that is. I know E-Waste Ben over in Australia definitely knows what that is. That's going to be coming in, uh, next video or upcoming video. I'm not sure. I definitely know that that is not going to get taken apart. But we're going to explore it together. Otherwise, we got plenty of other computers, too. I mean, we got this gateway here. Uh, I don't know much about them. And I know people are going to throw a fit. But hey, you know what? All this stuff is sitting here. All this stuff still has its CPUs in it. I ain't above getting rid of it. If I can make a dollar more than I can on the gold, then why not? So as it's starting to work... It's gonna start tacking uh, everything else first. The base metals, like I'm guessing that was aluminum or tin rod across the top. I don't know, and we got some solder on there and a few other components and things on there. And it's gonna start attacking that first. And it's gonna start getting rid of that. And then it's gonna start really hitting that gold. And it's not gonna eat the gold again. It's just gonna eat the base metals the gold is plated out on. All right, so you can kind of see it through there. It's kind of like a little, almost like a one of those old magic eight balls. 
kind of see it, kind of can't. It's in there, it isn't. It's there though, we know it's there. And it's turning around doing its thing. So while we wait for that, let's go over to my shop table. All right, here we are. So like I said, I live on the edge of the world. So it's really, really amazing. Some of the stuff I find. I mean, this is pretty cool. I know there's probably not a lot of gold and silver in it, but it's just neat. And I really don't know what to do with it. I mean, I don't know if it works or doesn't work. What's in it, what's not in it. But that too, that's up on the table to be scrapped as well. And we can explore it together. You guys just need to leave those comments and let me know what you guys want to do. All right, let's see what's happening there. I see some uh, little bit of copper flakes. You know, that's got the gold on it, and that copper will get cleaned off. But uh, let's see what's happening in there. Oh, it's starting to get there. Oh, yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm a one-shot, one-take kind of person. I got no editing, nothing like that. So you're going to hear me stumble and stutter and whatever else. But you know what? You guys are seeing it real time, same as me. So we're going to drop her back down in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, look at that come off that board. That's how we do it, fellas and ladies. All right, so we're going to let that sit. I got to eat lunch. And uh, I'm working on a couple things for upcoming videos and stuff like that. But we'll come back to it. It may take a little while, but you're not going to realize it because it's going to be instantaneous for you. But we'll be back. All right, it's been about 20 minutes, fellas. Let's see what this looks like, eh? Oh yeah, you can see it's starting to eat away all around in there. It's looking pretty, ooh, look at that. Just fold right off of that board there. Look at that. Just peels right off. And there's all that gold. There's more. But, uh, we're gonna give her a few minutes here. I'm gonna putz around the shop and we'll come back and let you know. All right guys, so you know if I'm on this side of the camera, it's gotta be serious. So, I say fellas a lot, and I'm sorry if this offends you, but that's not my deal. So, I use it as a blanket term. I don't know your pronouns or anything like that, and that's none of my business. I use the thing fellas all the time, and I can't keep stopping and fixing what I say. Secondly, if you guys are going to do this, it's fun. It's real fun to go get all that gold, but you have to be safe. You can't be blowing up your shop. Yeah, I got a shop dog and I got a shop cat, but I push them out the door whenever I'm messing with those chemicals over there. So you guys have got to practice safety, use your PPE, everything else, and just do everything the way you're supposed to do. And if you don't have the proper stuff to do it, Please don't start until you do. Is that it? Like that. All right, guys. We're about halfway through. Well, about a half an hour. And I'd say about halfway through this board. It's starting to peel up really nice. And I know as soon as I drop it back in, that gold's going to fall right off of there, just like that. So I'm going to keep doing this number for a little while. And we'll come back to it. I hope this doesn't run too long. You guys don't, you know click out tune out whatever they say um and yeah check it out it's a happening you can see the copper on the bottom starting to come through gold starting to plate off doing exactly what it's supposed to do and so just a correction for another video i had previously if you haven't watched it go check it out on my page but i called this a upc now my boys corrected me that's a ups that's an uninterrupted power supply. So they caught my mistake. You guys should be too. Don't worry about it. This is why I do a one take, one shot kind of thing. I stumble along. I mess up. You guys help me fix that problem. So you guys notice anything I'm doing wrong or have any suggestions, go ahead and leave that in that comment. Yeah, so there that gold goes. You can see it's starting to peel off right there and right there and uh i don't know i'm just sitting here waiting for it to happen bumming around my shop so i'm not sure if it's going to be done in this video or not but if not we'll move on 
So the gold's coming off nicely, but uh, all those uh, surface mount devices, they're gonna take a little while. So I know that. But we're gonna try to get that gold peeled off of here as soon as we can. And then we'll have fun with the board. We'll clean it off, maybe we'll throw it in the lie and see if there was anything underneath that conformal coating. Maybe it'll be easier to see once we got all the other gold and copper off of there. All right guys, well this video is getting kind of long already and I'm not sure where it's gonna go and it's been about three hours. So I'm thinking that the gold plating was a little thicker than I had thought, which is good for me, kind of bad for the video, but what can you do? So I think we're gonna end it here and if anything more happens tonight, I'll follow up. Otherwise, I will come out here right away in the morning and give you guys an update on what's happening. Just remember, hit that like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button so you guys can get notified when my videos come out. And if my wife is watching, I love you. And if my kids are watching, go wash your face.